Welcome to Module 2, Lesson 16. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to add measurements using the standard algorithm to compose larger units twice. We are learning this so that we can find out the size and weight of objects in real life. We will know that we're successful when we can model adding measurements We will solve 266 grams plus 158 grams two different ways. The first way is using a place value chart. The second way is using the standard algorithm. Notice the box that has hundreds, tens, and ones columns. That's a place value chart. Let's use blue dots to record 266 grams on the place value chart. So looking at the number 266, how many ones are there? How many tens? How many hundreds are in 266? Answer, there are six ones, six tens, and two hundreds. This is what 266 looks like on the place value chart. We're going to use a different color dot, we'll use red, to add 158 grams to the place value chart. How many ones are in 158? How many tens? How many hundreds in 158? Here we have a place value chart with 266 plus 158. How many hundreds in all? How many tens in all? How many ones in all when you add 266 plus 158? So notice that I've changed the color of the dots to purple. That's because red and blue makes purple. So the total number in all is represented now with purple dots. There are three hundreds, there are eleven tens, and there are fourteen ones. Keep in mind that there are ten ones in ten. So we can move ten of the fourteen ones over to the tens column and that would give us an additional 10. Notice that there are 10 tens in 100. So from the 12 tens, we can remove 10 of those and put an additional 100 in the hundreds column. So now we want to look at what are the number of purple or the number in all of each place value. How many hundreds are there now? How many tens? And how many ones are there now? There are four hundreds, two tens, and four ones. In 
In standard form, we can say 400, 2 tens, and 4 ones is the same as 424. So using the place value chart, we found that 266 grams plus 158 grams equals 424. We can check our work by doing number two. That is adding using the standard algorithm. So using the standard algorithm, we would stack the numbers. 266 plus 158. We are always starting in the ones place when we're adding three digit numbers, so we'll find out first what is eight plus six. We can count up from eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Eight plus six or six plus eight is 14. There are 14 ones. 14 is the same as saying 110 plus four ones. So the four ones goes below the black line and the one is carried over as an additional 10 to go in the tens column. So now we want to know how many tens are there. We're going to add the tens together. One plus six is seven. 7 plus 5 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 tens in all. That means there is 100 plus 2 tens. So we're putting 2 tens under the black line and we're carrying over 10 of the tens as a 1 in the hundreds column. And now we can find out how many hundreds there are. So we'll add all of them together, starting with the one at the top. One plus two is three. Now we're gonna add the one red 100. So three plus one is four. That means we'll put a four under the black line in the hundreds place. So we can say that using the standard algorithm, 266 plus 158 is again 424. Okay, let's move on to our read, draw, write question. In the read, draw, write question, we'll read the question and pick out the important information. Draw a picture to help solve the problem. Now, in this lesson, we do have an objective of being able to use a place value chart to add. So when it says draw a picture, you want to meet the objective of the lesson, which is to draw a place value chart. And finally, the W portion of read, draw, write is write the answer as a complete sentence. And when you do so, you want to use details from the question in your answer and also as an extra added step, we want to practice explaining how we got our answer. So let's read it first. It says that Leo's shoe weighs 395 grams. I'm just going to underline that to point it out that that's an important piece of information. His bath towel weighs 518 grams. How much do the shoe and the towel weigh all together? So my keyword here is all together and that tells me that I'm adding. So I'm adding which two numbers? I'm adding the weight of the shoe and the towel. So that would be 395 for the shoe and 518 for the towel. Now, opening up my Google Jamboard, which is found at jamboard.google.com, I'm going to draw a place value chart so that I can solve the question. 
you can do this along with me if you have materials such as a paper and pencil, a dry erase board and a marker, or even a jam board if you have access to one. Or you can just watch as I solve it for you as an example. Okay, I'm getting my pen tool and I'm drawing a three column chart because I noticed that both of those numbers are three digit numbers. If one was a four digit number, I might need a four column chart, but since they're both three digit numbers, we're only drawing a three column chart. So the far right is my ones. The middle column is my tens place. And the first column is my hundreds place. I'm going to change my pen color to blue first and I'm going to put blue dots for the number in each place on 395. So looking first at the 5 in the 1's column, I need 5, I'm just going to put hashtags 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm looking at the nine in the tens place. So there are nine tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you may be wondering why I'm not bundling my hashtag marks. That's because later on I'm going to be moving some of these over to a different column, just like we did in the lesson. Okay, 395 grams has three hundreds. And now I've completed the 395 on my hundreds chart and I can add my 518. Just like in the lesson, I want to change colors. Just as an example for you, you probably will not need to do this when you do it on your own, but if you have access to materials to do that, feel free to do so if it helps you. Any trick that helps you is a good trick. Okay, looking at 518 grams, there are eight ones. There is one ten. And there are five hundreds. So four, one, two, three, four, five. So the question is, how much do they weigh all together? And just like in our example during the lesson, we will be moving over some of these hashtag marks if it's appropriate. So let's count the ones first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ones. So notice that thirteen has one ten in it plus three ones and we don't want to have any tens in our ones column so we're going to take out ten and move it down here and call it 110. So now we should only have three ones left because we removed this 10. Looking at the tens column, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1100, 11 tens now. So 11 tens looks like 110 in standard form and we can't have any hundreds in our tens column so we need to remove a hundred. So a hundred is equal to 10 tens. I'm going to take 10 of these tens and move it over to the hundreds column and call it 100. 
So now I should only have one 10 left in my 10s place right there. Let's count the hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one is nine hundreds. So now we have nine hundreds, one ten, and three ones. In standard form, that would look like nine hundred thirteen. So now we've read, we've drawn, and it's time to write our answer. So I'm getting the text tool so that I can type out a complete sentence to answer the question. Let's go back to the question. The question is, how much do the shoe and the towel weigh together? So using information from the question, I'm going to type out the shoe and the towel together weigh 913 grams. I added each weight together, both weights together, using a place value chart. So there's my answer. The shoe and the towel together weighed 913 grams. I added both weights together using a place value chart. Let's go back to the lesson and check our answer. Answer. They weigh 913 grams because 395 plus 518 equals 913. Great job. Okay, now it's your turn to do a redraw right question on your own. We'll read it together and then you will draw a place value chart. Then you'll write a complete answer. When you are done, you may go to the description box below and check your work against the correct answer. Let's read first. The red jump rope is 224 centimeters long and the blue jump rope is 278 centimeters long. How long are both jump ropes together? Now it's your turn. I want you to do your very best work, and I'll see you here in the next lesson.